Let's work on the lesson addition and subtraction up to 20. They give us the problem. In 1995, there were nine hurricanes around the world. In 1996, there was one hurricane. How many hurricanes were there in total during those years? All right, so I'm going to read the problem again and underline important information as I go. In 1995, there were nine hurricanes around the world. In 1996, there was one hurricane. How many hurricanes were there in total during those years? So I know that there were nine in 1995 and one in 1996. So they want to know how many there were in total. And total lets me know that I'm going to add. So nine plus one is equal to a number. Nine plus one is equal to a number. We don't know the number yet. We need to figure that out. So we can draw some dots. Let's draw nine dots for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's draw one dot for one. Now let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, so we know that nine plus one is equal to ten. Okay, let's read our next problem and underline important information as we go. Matilda bought 10 pizzas for a party. Halfway through, she ran out of pizza and picked up two more. How many pizzas in total did the guests eat? Great, so Matilda bought 10 pizzas for a party. Halfway through, she ran out of pizza and picked up two more. Well, more also lets me know I'm going to add. So I'm going to add two to 10. How many pizzas in total did the guests eat? So I know that we don't know our sum. That is our answer to our addition problem. So now we need to add. So I could draw 10 dots for 10, but I also know when I count those 10 dots and I'm done counting them, I'll be at 10. I'll have counted 10. So I can just draw two dots for two and I can say, okay, I know we have 10. Now we want to know what's two more than 10. So I'm going to count these dots. I'm going to count up from 10. So 10, 11, 12. Great. So my answer is 12. All right, let's read the next problem. In 1995, there were six hurricanes around the world. In 1996, there were 10 hurricanes. How many hurricanes were there in total during those years? So do you think this will be adding or subtracting? Yes, adding. In 1995, there were six hurricanes around the world. In 1996, there were 10 hurricanes. How many hurricanes were there in total during those years? So we know there were six around the world in 1995 and 10 around the world in 1996. How many were there in total? Well, we don't know yet. Let's count up from 10. So remember, let's draw these six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can add these numbers in any order. We could start with 10 and add six more, or we could start with six and add 10 more. But I like to think of my biggest number first and draw dots for my smallest number because then I have to draw less dots. So I'll say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so I know my final answer is 16 hurricanes. All right, there are five angelfish and two guppies in a fish tank. How many fish are in the tank? 
So they want to know how many fish in all are in the tank. So that shows me we're going to add five angelfish plus two guppies equals how many fish? Well, let's draw five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Then let's leave a space so we don't get confused and then draw two for the two. One, two. All right, so let's count them all. So I already know I already have five here because I drew five dots for this five, but I'll count them anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so five, six, seven. Great, so there are seven fish. All right, let's read our next problem carefully. Sarah owns the Wafting Pie Company. This morning, her employees used two eggs to bake pumpkin pies. If her employees used a total of six eggs today, how many eggs did they use in the afternoon? Ooh, this one's a little different. Let's think about it. So her employees used two eggs to bake the pumpkin pies. If they used a total of six eggs, how many eggs did they use in the afternoon? So I know that in total they used six eggs. So I'm going to draw six eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there's my six eggs. It told me that this morning her employees used two of them to bake pumpkin pie. So we're not adding. We're going to take those two away. One, two, because they used those up in the morning. Now they have these left for the afternoon. So it says how many eggs did they use in the afternoon? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four. Four eggs. All right, now I'm going to show you what this will look like in an equation. We know that if her employees used a total of six eggs and they used two in the morning, we're going to take those two away just like we did here. So six take away two is equal to four because as you can see in the picture, we drew six, we took away two, and there were four left. Great work. The next problem says, Elizabeth collects only purple and shiny rocks. If she has seven rocks in the collection and three of them are purple, how many shiny rocks does she have? Oh, so we know her total is seven, just like in the problem with the eggs. They had a total of six eggs. In this problem, they have a total of seven rocks. So we're going to put the seven first. That is the larger number. And we know that these seven are a mix of purple and shiny rocks. So there's some purple and some shiny. But they just told us that three of them are purple, so the rest have to be shiny. So if we take away three, take away the three purple ones, we know everything she has left is shiny. So let's draw some circles to represent seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We know these are a mix of purple and shiny rocks. So I am going to take out the three that we know are purple. One, two, three. So all these have to be shiny. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. Ah, four. So seven minus three equals four. So we had seven rocks, three of them were purple, and four of them are shiny. Amazing work. Next, we have this problem. It says, Venus fly traps are put into a room with eight flies. After a week, there are five flies left. How many flies did the Venus fly traps eat? So those plants, the Venus fly traps, eat flies. And in this one, there were eight flies in a room. But then after a week, there were only five flies left. So 
Let's see how many flies the Venus flytrap ate. So there were eight flies, and we know that five of them are still there, so we're gonna take away the five that are still there, and we're gonna see how many were eaten. So let me show you why this works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are the eight flies. Those eight flies are flying around, and then some get eaten. We don't know how many get eaten, but we know there's five left, so let's put a line under five of them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we know that those five are left, so these many got, got eaten. So we know we had eight, and if we took away five, which we did here, then this is how many will be left. Let's count them. One, two, three. So three were left. Because eight, take away five, is three. So these were the flies that were left. Next we have, Dylan is picking flowers for his mom. If he brings home three flowers, but the cat eats one of them? How many are left? Oh my goodness, okay, so he had three flowers and the cat ate one of them. Does that mean we're going to take away one or add one? Yeah, we're going to take away one because the cat ate it. So three minus one is equal to a number. So if we know we have three flowers and we take one of those away, do you know how many there will be left? Yeah, two. Just two left. All right, Julia is picking flowers for her mom. If she brings home six flowers, but the cat eats five of them, how many are left? Oh goodness, all right, six flowers, but the cat eats five of them. Are we adding or subtracting? Yes, subtracting again. Six take away five is equal to a number. So we can draw a picture. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take away five. One, two, three, four, five. How many were left? Yeah, only one. Do you see the one down below? Yep, right there. This is our last problem. Lauren's dad is a cookie thief. There are eight cookies before her dad gets home and seven cookies after her dad gets home. How many cookies did her dad eat? Well, we know there are eight cookies before he gets home and then there are seven after he gets home. Well, if we take away all the ones that are left after he gets home, our answer will be how many he ate. So let's take away the seven that are still there and that will give us the answer of how many are left. Let's draw a picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cookies. All right, this is how many she had before her dad got home. And now after her dad gets home, she has seven. So let's put a line under seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is how many she has after her dad gets home. So this is how many he ate. How many did he eat? Yeah, just one, because eight minus seven equals one. Fantastic work, my friends.